What's cracking with your snack and snacker stars? It's me, me, the BRE, the man in the backwards hat, Brandon from the SAS, the Snack Food Appreciation Society, coming at you on a frozen Friday night for pizza night, ladies and gentlemen. This week, Tombstone and I are going south of the border to try out something new from their most wanted line. Is it really going to be most wanted? Is it really? We'll find out right after this on Pizza Night. <laughs> Never fear, Pizza Night is once again here for a Frozen Friday, August the 12th, 1988. No, wait. That's the 1988 Danger Zone calendar. No, it's actually December 15th, 2017, and I am here today at SAS headquarters on a very Frozen Friday. It is snowing outside to check out Tombstone's latest variety. They say it's new and they say it's most wanted. This may or may not have been out at some point in the past and just now gotten to our area, but it is the Fiesta Beef Pizza. And what you have there is seasoned beef, red and green peppers, 100% real cheese, and a flavorful taco sauce. So yeah, I don't like green peppers, but hey, I'll go ahead and take one from the team, guys. Uh, anyway, yeah, Tombstone has been trying to come out with a few different things throughout the years, like that uh, Bratwurst Pizza right there. And I think behind here there's a fully loaded or something like that. And they had the Diablo that was similar to this one. But it was, uh, you know, more spicy and think it had some sriracha going on or something like that. Anyway, let me turn this thing over. You got your cooking instructions, which are as follows. You want to preheat the oven to 400. Place the pizza directly on the center oven rack. Uh, and then bake it for about 20 minutes until the cheese is melted and the edges are golden brown. Let me go ahead and take this thing out of this package and show it to you in its frozen form. All right, gang, I have removed the plastic wrap and now let me just take the slip cover off. And there you go, a very colorful looking frozen pizza. Lots of stuff going on there to and fro. Tons and tons of red and green peppers, guys. I'm not too enthused about that. But hey, there is some vacancy in terms of that over in this area, so maybe I'll be okay. Lots of seasoned beef there, fairly different types of cheeses. It looks like maybe at least a cheddar or a nacho and a white cheese like mozzarella. Uh, and of course, the taco sauce is peeking out from the bottom. This should be a pretty interesting one from Tombstone, guys. I'll be right back right after this to check it out, give you a rating and more on this week's Pizza Night Spectacular. All right, gang, we've got this brand new Tombstone Fiesta Beef Pizza from their Most Wanted line, and that's about 17 minutes worth of cooking right there, and I think that's about all it needs. I've turned it about halfway through, and it looks like it's gotten pretty golden brown on the edges there and your cheese is definitely melty definitely smells like a taco in here or something like that uh but they're not exactly going for taco they're going for fiesta beef so we'll see how that goes let me go ahead and slice out a 420 slice for you and let you know what that looks like this pizza turned out very very crispy on the edges and that made actually slicing it a little bit more difficult because I didn't have my pizza scissors, but that's okay. Show it to you there. It's very turgid, not any, any flop whatsoever. Got thin and crispy all the way. Looking pretty well cooked there on the bottom. Looks pretty good, guys. That beef looks good. Red peppers and cheese look good too. Not sure, so sure about the green peppers, but I'll be right back right after this to find out how all they taste and more on pizza night. All right, gang, I am back here with the Fiesta Beef Pizza from Tombstone. And yes, it really is December 15th. It's not August 1988, except for it's going to be August 1988 here in SAS headquarters from now on. I mean, it is really December 15th. Star Wars Last Jedi just came out. Uh, that Roy Moore guy, he lost the uh, Senate election uh, in Alabama earlier this week. So, yeah, I'm current here, guys. Anyway, let me go ahead and pick up a slice of this... Uh, Fiesta beef pizza. Show it to you next to my noggin the way I always do. Uh, little tiny, tiny pieces sliced up here for this frozen pie. That just ends up being the way it happens a lot with frozen pie. You know what I mean? All right, guys. Might as well get it done. Let's take a bite. Okay, guys. That's not a bad tasting deal there, but it doesn't remind me of pizza a lot. What it really reminds me is, is like if your mom 
was trying to come up with something creative for you while you were snowed in when you're a kid you know school's out and maybe you've been out all day getting all wet and cold from the snow throwing snowballs making snowmen whatever but you know basically i think it, it your mom like went in the kitchen and was like oh what do i have here i got some bread i got some taco sauce and i got some cheese oh and i got last night's hamburgers as well and she basically just uh toasted the toast put the sauce and cheese on there and crumbled up the hamburger on top and voila here you go scotty it's some it's some taco toast for you you want some taco toast here you go and that's basically what we have here taco toast not pizza five dollars and 69 cents for this pizza from safeway let's build it from the bottom to the top like i always do give it a chance here uh it's a very thin and crispy crust it's you know it's tombstones crust. You can either go one way or another with it. You can go undercooked and it'll be kind of gummy, or you can go oh, a bit overcooked and it's going to be really, really crunchy. If you're in the middle, ah, you're lucky. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the uh, taco sauce tastes like some cheap 7-Eleven taco sauce, like back when they had those uh, rolled up tacos that you could have. They weren't called taquitos. They were called something else. El Taco. That's what that was called back in the... Uh, mid 90s uh, check that out if you know anything about that let me know in the comments down below or hit the thumbs up uh yeah it tastes like the el taco taco sauce not that great the cheese mixture is all right but it's too sparse to really make much of an impact for me uh so i don't really dig that flavor wise is okay the meat seasoned beef is not that seasoned it's kind of salty i guess that's a seasoning uh mealy uh not real well stuck together uh i don't like it whatever uh green peppers i hate so i won't even talk about that the red peppers are kind of sweet but they're not crunchy enough so they kind of are a bummer this isn't great guys it's not terrible but like i said it's basically just taco toast okay scotty it's taco toast anyhow uh enjoy your taco toast if you decide to get this and let me know what you think about it down below i'm gonna go ahead and give this a quarter thumb up it's not great guys I wouldn't buy it again. I wouldn't recommend it. I think it's just kind of a weak uh, outing by Tombstone altogether, and uh, you should probably stay away from it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, SAS uh, Snack Society keeps rolling on and on and will not stop. We've got some good holiday reviews coming up for you soon. Got a new Breakfast Lifestyle coming up next week. Got a big Nova Pro show to talk about in the near future, and we'll be doing that soon, too. Ladies and gentlemen, you can find out about all of that by joining the SAS group on Facebook, which you can do by clicking on the link in the description down below. Also, you can go ahead and make sure that you also uh, check me out on Twitter and Instagram at BrandonReichSAS. And when you do that, you make sure you use the hashtag Snack Society all day, every day. That way you know what I'm eating and I know what you're eating too. So make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you share, and make sure you subscribe. In the meantime, in between time, I'll see you next time with more Taco Toast. Bye-bye.